good morning everyone so recall that in the last class we were discussing hamiltonian graphs so hamiltonian graph is a graph which has a hamiltonian cycle that is a cycle which is passing through all the vertices so this graph is hamiltonian then we discussed a result which says that if g is hamiltonian then for each subset of the vertex set the number of the components of g minus s is at most the cardinality of s it means that if you choose or if you manage to find the s for example in this case if i consider s with these six vertices and if i delete it then the number of the components are seven which is more than the cardinality of s and therefore this graph is not hamiltonian But at the same time, we are interested in sufficient condition for Hamiltonian graph. For this, we need the concept of the closure. So we say that let G be a simple graph and UV are two non-adjacent vertices in G such that their degree is greater than or equal to n. Then G is Hamiltonian if and only if G union this edge. So it represents an edge. It means you make these two non-adjacent vertices adjacent, and after making them adjacent, if the new graph is Hamiltonian, then the original graph is Hamiltonian. If we do it recursively, then we can say it is the closure of the graph, which means that we keep updating the graph until there is no pair of the vertex. whose degree is no pair of non adjacent vertex whose degree sum is greater than equal to n and then there comes the result which says that graph g is hamiltonian if and only if its closure is hamiltonian so first we will see how to find the closure what does it mean by closure and then we will see the proof of this result so let us consider the following graph and we need to find its closure you can try to find it by yourself now closure means that you need to find two non adjacent vertices if exist whose degree sum is greater than 7 greater than equal to 7 so for example these two orange vertices its degree is 3 its degree is 4 so their sum of the degrees is 7 and therefore you make them adjacent to find its closure again you can see that here the degree becomes 4 now instead of 3 and this degree is 3 they are non adjacent again you add them and update the graph so this is also the closure of the original graph but of course it is the closure of the modified graph again you look for the non adjacent vertices so here the degree is 4 the degree is 4 and you can see that they are non adjacent so you make them adjacent and finally now there exists no such vertices whose degree sum is greater than equal to 7 and they are non adjacent so this is the closure of the original graph which is not hamiltonian because if you see a cycle these six vertices can be covered but this vertex cannot be a part of the cycle because of the presence of a cut vertex it means that the closure is not hamiltonian so from the above result you can conclude that the original graph is not hamiltonian let's see one more question again you can see this graph initially you can observe that the graph is hamiltonian because it has a hamiltonian cycle and therefore as an exercise you can try to find its closure i have shown you some of these steps you keep looking for non adjacent vertices whose degree sum is greater than or equal to 7 because n is 7 here and keep making them adjacent if you keep doing it then this is not the final graph because still there are 
non adjacent vertices for example this one and this one you have to make them adjacent so keep making them adjacent and in the end you will get a complete graph and complete graph is hamiltonian therefore the original graph is hamiltonian now let's discuss the proof of this theorem so graph is hamiltonian if and only if its closure is hamiltonian so if graph is hamiltonian then of course closure is hamiltonian because in the closure you add more edges so if there already exists a hamiltonian cycle in the graph so by adding more edges we will have the hamiltonian cycle in the obtained graph other way around is important which means the closure is hamiltonian then we need to show that the graph is hamiltonian now closure is hamiltonian it means that it has a hamiltonian cycle so there could be a sequence of the graphs you can from start from g then you find its closure then g dash then so on so on and and you find that this is hamiltonian from there you go back and try to see that g4 dash is hamiltonian then g3 dash so on and so on and this is hamiltonian yes so we can consider only two step just for the understanding that g dash is hamiltonian which means that just the previous graph there exist two non adjacent vertices u and v whose degree sum is greater than equal to n they are non adjacent and if you make them adjacent then this graph g dash becomes hamiltonian it means that this graph g has a hamiltonian path yes so g dash is hamiltonian it means it has a hamiltonian cycle it means that the previous graph g must have the non adjacent vertices then only you find its closure and g is not hamiltonian it means it must have a non adjacent vertices whose degree sum is greater than equal to n so this is how we proceed so g has a hamiltonian cycle let's call it as v1 v2 vn where v1 is v and vn is u so uv edge you have added to make the graph hamiltonian which has a hamiltonian cycle now consider the two sets p and q how p is defined so it is the set of the vertices which are adjacent to u1 and q is the set of the vertices where ui minus 1 are adjacent to vn how and why these sets are defined it would be clear i have two questions please do think over it the first question is do you think p intersection q is non empty and the other one is if it is non empty then what do you conclude can you conclude that graph g is hamiltonian it has a hamiltonian cycle or you cannot conclude now try to understand what is p union q so p union q is all those vertices v2 v3 till vn minus 1 but at the same time if you check the cardinality of p plus q then cardinality of p means degree of v1 which is degree v and cardinality of q means degree of u now it is given that degree u plus degree v is greater than equal to n so on one side cardinality of p plus q is greater than equal to n but on the other side we can see that p union q has only n minus 2 vertices it means there are some vertices which are common to p and q then only their cardinality could be greater than equal to n so let's say vi belongs to p intersection q now vi belongs to p intersection q so let's say this is the hamiltonian path which starts from v1 goes to vn and vi is somewhere here 
now v i belongs to q which means that it must be adjacent to v1 and v i belongs to q it means v i minus 1 must be adjacent to v n now what do you conclude try to observe this figure or graph and you will have the required answer so if i start from v1 i directly go to vi then i pass through all the vertices and reach to vn from vn i go to vi minus 1 from vi minus 1 i travel and reach to vn v1 which is the required hamiltonian cycle so it means the original graph as a hamiltonian cycle provided its closure is hamiltonian so very interesting proof please go through it again and again for a better understanding <clears throat> next is the corollary which is based on the result we have just discussed so if g is a simple graph and for every for every pair of non adjacent vertices u and v degree u plus degree v is greater than or equal to n then g is hamiltonian so if for every pair of non adjacent vertices degree u plus degree v is greater than or equal to n then in its closure you make them adjacent and which means that in the closure of g all the vertices are adjacent to each other which means the closure is the complete graph now we know that complete graph is hamiltonian and therefore g is hamiltonian from the previous result if closure is hamiltonian then the original graph is hamiltonian similarly you can see the corollary if degree u is greater than or equal to n by 2 for all vertices then degree u plus degree v is greater than or equal to n by 2 plus n by 2 so the same result and in that case g is hamiltonian so very interesting result please do remember them now let's see a very interesting at the same time little bit difficult question it says that g is a simple graph of order 20 such that for all known adjacent vertices degree x plus degree y is greater than 18 prove or disprove g contains a hamiltonian path so g contains a hamiltonian path it means that we may look for a modified graph having a hamiltonian cycle and then we can delete some vertex or edge to have the hamiltonian path so how do we modify graph g so let us assume that this is my graph g which are having 20 vertices i introduce a new vertex u and make it adjacent to all the vertices of g which is possible you can consider any simple graph for example triangle and you can have let's say this graph you can introduce u and making it adjacent to all the vertices yes now after making it adjacent let's call this graph as h now h has two non adjacent vertices x and y if you see their degrees so degree of x and y in h so in g we already know that what has been changed each vertex for each vertex degree get increased by one because each one of them is adjacent to you it means that its degree in g plus one plus degree in g plus one now it is given that degree x plus degree y in g is greater than 18 so this is equal to 18 plus or this is greater than 18 plus 2 or greater than equal to 21 now order of graph g is 20 it means order of graph h is 21 
and for all non adjacent vertices in h for all non adjacent vertices in h degree x plus degree y is greater than equal to n which is 21 for h it means that if you find its closure then the closure of h would be hamiltonian because it is a complete graph because for all non adjacent vertices the degree sum is greater than equal to 21 so in the closure they all would be had they all will be adjacent which means the closure would be complete graph it means that the original graph h is hamiltonian now h is hamiltonian it means that it must have some hamiltonian cycle passing through all the vertices let's say this is u this is v this is w now if you delete u then in the remaining graph g you will have a path starting from v and reaching to w which is the hamiltonian path it means that g has a hamiltonian path the result is proved let's consider one more very interesting question it says that prove or disprove cn bar is hamiltonian so cn is a cycle of length n cn bar means its complement now we know that c5 is equivalent to c5 complement and c5 is hamiltonian therefore c5 bar is hamiltonian it means result need to be proved or disproved for n greater than or equal to 6 now hint is that in c n bar what would be the degree of each of the vertex because in c n also the degree is same for all the vertex so in c n degree for all the vertex is 2 yes and total degree is n minus 1 it means in c n bar degree u is n minus 3 yes now for n greater than equal to 6 n minus 3 is greater than equal to n by 2 agreed because this is equivalent to n minus n by 2 which is n by 2 greater than equal to 3 and since n is greater than equal to 6 therefore n by 2 is always greater than equal to 3 and now I can use the corollary we have just discussed from which I can say that cn bar is Hamiltonian. So this is the corollary. So by using this corollary we can conclude cn bar is Hamiltonian. So last question, either prove the graph is not Hamiltonian or if it is then find a Hamiltonian cycle. This example is again interesting because if you try to find its closure then it is the same graph it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 vertices now degree sum of any pair of the non adjacent vertices is less than 11 it means its closure is the same graph so by using the previous results we cannot conclude it is hamiltonian it means you either need to disprove it in some other way for example the tutorial sheet we have disproved Peterson graph is not Hamiltonian or you need to find a Hamiltonian cycle answer is it is Hamiltonian and this is the required Hamiltonian cycle so thank you very much in the next class we will start the new chapter